Hey, let me show you how you can quickly connect your Samsung Galaxy Watch Ultra into non-Samsung phone. So in this case, I'm using Google Pixel 8a. So first of all, you will have to power on your watch by cl clicking and holding this button. And the next step, you can simply go into the language selection. So we have to select English. I mean, in my case, I'm selecting English, then click on this icon to confirm. Now we have to select our region. We have to restart our watch and in this time we have to go into our phone and we have to open the google play store and we have to get this application the galaxy wearable so previously it was actually called the samsung gear but now it's called the galaxy wearable you will have to download it so uh, if you actually do this you can open this application now you will have to scroll and click start and as you can see it's actually searching for available devices so currently our watch is still turning on so we have to just wait for a few seconds there we go now we get some kind of the vibration and when you get this animation it means that your watch is actually in the pairing mode and as you can see now it just pops up right here for available devices list if for some reason it doesn't work you can just click cancel and go for scanning one more time then scroll down select galaxy watch ultra now we'll have some kind of the notification on our watch that we have to confirm and the same on our phone. Now it's actually downloading uh, some kind of the software. Okay, we have to install the Galaxy Watch 7 Manager. So let's go, let's click on the install button. Right now when installation is finished, we have to go back. And now just wait until this screen disappear. Now, as you can see, we are able to sign in into the Samsung account, but if we try to tap skip, uh, we can still our use this device without the Samsung account and you will be able to log in into your Samsung account later. So it's useful when you want to quickly set up your device. Now, uh, you don't have to actually agree for all of this, but we have to actually agree for Samsung and user license and then we can just go. And in this next screen, uh, we have to actually accept all of this permissions so we have to just scroll down and we can click allow for all of these permissions and now click allow now as you can see we are getting ready to connect so this might take a few minutes but probably it will take like 30 seconds or stuff like this as you can see now it just speed up now we get 100 percent it's also getting the google account information so now we can sign in into the google account but if you don't want you can click skip and you will be able to actually login to another google account and now we have to scroll down tap i agree then we can enable the automatic watch backup click next but you don't have to do this now we can find some uh, selection we can adjust the quick button action but let's skip this right here we can check pick the preferred wrist so between the right and the left in my case it will be left and also the position of the button so right of the screen or left on the screen. Now we can also change uh, the text and the font size. Right here we can find some kind of the multi-sport workouts. We can create a workout routine, but we don't have to. We can click next, click next, click next again, click next again and again. And now it's almost finished. So as you can see, we have to go actually for for like few steps and now we will be connected there we go as you can see we got confirmation on the watch on the phone and that's all so please subscribe to my channel